Hi guys, Snake Doctor here. Welcome to a new game called The Bridge. Speaking quietly because I don't want to wake this uh, sleeping gentleman up. This is The Bridge, a new game uh, featuring on my channel. And uh, it's a little indie developed game. Looks really nice. Good sort of pencil drawn graphics. And uh, yeah, got two keys flashing at us here, left and right. So we're going to tip the world left and right, looks like. And we're dropping apples. Oh, there you go. Let's woke him up. Only everything. Right, an A and D walks, and the left and right cursor keys look like they tip the world. So I guess you can change the angle of your movement by doing this. My fortitude to tread onwards. I see, yeah, so look, it's too steep to walk up here. You change the angle of the slope slightly, you can do it. My integrity of wit. And my home, there we are, this is where this uh, gentleman lives. Unnamed gentleman. Not do anything but press W. Go through the door, chapter one. There he is being penciled into the uh, into the world. Did that do we really? Alright, we'll walk along to door one, I guess. The loft, these are all unlocked or locked locked doors at the moment, so I have to re unlock those as we as we progress. So we go into uh, one one the loft. Okay, let's let's enter the game. So it's a kind of physics puzzle game where the world gets manipulated as we saw in that little intro. Oh, look, it leaves your little uh, pencil outline as you, as you progress, as you move forward. Right, so we walk here. And I guess we have to, oops, to swirl the world round to let him walk round. And there we go, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. That's not what we wanted, was it? It's all. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. We need to get up. Side down. That's it, we need to get him onto that other platform, don't we? So we need to walk him off there. And then drop him back down there. So that one. Okay, that hasn't really helped as much, is it? Other than we can walk that way. Okay. This is going to bring us back around to the start again. Okay, let's get the hang of this. So walk down here. To the exit. So, how do we do this? Can we fall through the floor, I wonder? There we go, look, brilliant. Down, slid down the slid down that pole. And then we walk down to there we are. Don't want to walk too far. To the door. Part uh, part one, chapter one, part two, the library. I guess these are gonna start getting more complicated as we go. Right, there's a locked door there with a key, which we I guess we need to pick up. Here is us. We'll call him uh, Little Snake Doctor. Slide, that wall says slide there. So I'm guessing if we rotate the world round all the way, the key's going to come down. And then the door's going to slide. Hey, here we go, look. The door's going to slide. We can keep walking. Can take full damage. No, nope, it doesn't. Good. Get the key. And then we can rotate back round again. Same way. Well, back up the right way again and make him slide. Make the door slide and we can walk through. Awesome. It was easier than the first one. Part 3 The Menace. Ooh, looks like he's been making some plans here. He's fallen asleep. This ball looks like a uh, an enemy. There's the ball. There's the door. And there's us. Okay. 
Right, so we need to get to the door, obviously, but as we walk, that ball's going to uh, gonna come round, isn't it? So we tip the wall, there we go. That's going to walk around there. Imagine if we can get into a little, yeah, drop in down there, drop down into this uh, hole here. Hopefully the ball will pop over our heads. There we go, look. And we can now just use that. Little gaps created to go in the doorway. Let's rotate the wall around. It's not falling over. And go through the door. Part 4, the courtyard. It's scared of the ball there. So another locked door, so we need a key. There's the key, there's the ball. There's the key hanging from a rock. And there comes the little snake got to himself. Right. So, how do we get up there? That way, maybe. There we go. It swings the... Swings that that way. Now, this is going to kill us, isn't it, when we do this, I'm sure. We'll just drop to our doom. No, I oh, need to take a lot of fall damage, it's good. Okay, now we need to swing the world round. And then run, maybe, while we're... Yes, there we go. The key. Let's get the wall, ball swinging back now. Maybe the same again. Keep it swinging underneath. Awesome. That's us safely away. And we just need to rotate it round. Make sure. There we go. That it's away from us there. We drop off. Once you get the hang of kind of the fact that you're manipulating the world. Kind of, uh, there we go. kind of works quite sort of straightforward. Awesome. Through the door. Part five: the spiral. Okay, he's got his uh, got his notepad out there. He's uh, looking intently. Another key. Two keys. Second. Oh, second padlock. Okay, here he is. <sighs> Blimey. Uh, okay, so they're both locked inside a. Tight spiral there, so how are we going to get these out? That's a bit of trial and error, I think. Just rotate the world round. If we do that, they're both going to fall out, aren't they? But let's let's just keep moving the keys round. That's going to fall out of there, isn't it? Mm, okay, let's go the other way then, see if we can take that, take that top key round to the inside of the spiral. Then. What happens then? Does it go anywhere? No, it doesn't, does it? It's just going to take us back out again. Okay, so it's got to be the other way. Oh no, hang on. There we go. She managed to get that one. That was probably unintended, that, but it's kind of slid. There we go, that's one lock. I'm done like this one. It's going to fall out of the world, isn't it? But if we can get it to fall out of the world and come down that middle chute as we look at it now, a straight line down the middle, it will drop off the bottom of the world, but you might be able to catch it as we go round. So let's, let's get that going now, and then we can start it falling. Let's get it all the way down. Getting our little, little snake doctor himself there. Right, let's uh, slide that along here. Okay, right. Now can we get it slow enough it doesn't disappear out of the world, but fast enough to catch it. There we go, look. Just control the drop. Brilliant. Now we can carry on all the way around again. Back around to the inside. Feeling it a little queasy. Right. <laughs> um, keep dropping that inside till it catches onto the middle of the thing, and we can go all the way inside. Right, let's drop it down like we did in the last one. Catches onto the. There we go. Brilliant. Let's get him walking over the edge. He can come down and meet us. And there we go. 
part six, the nook. Right. Aha, we have another little ball. I wonder if this is going to be similar to that other one with the ball where we had to kind of keep ourselves in the little cubby hole. Um, as we drop this one, it's going to just drop it straight off here so that means it doesn't come down on top of us. So if we touch that ball, I guess we're going to die, aren't we? So we don't do that. Well, that's not, not what we want to do at all, is it? Because now when we rotate this round, we're going to... And my last memory was that of pain. Press and hold space. Oh! Okay. It rewinds. Right, okay. Let's rewind to the beginning then. Let's see if we did that right. So there's the ball dropping. It's quite clever, isn't it? Okay. If we go the other way then, that drop, that'll drop down towards us when it goes on. Do that. I want to try and get onto where that plant is in the ink well somehow. So can I drop onto that? Ah, damn, almost. Almost. Okay, so I've got to try and keep. No. Okay. So we can hold space at any time, not just when we die. Can we rock the world? Okay, and then can we then. Oh, shit. Right, uh, a little more confusing than it seems, this one. Don't do that. Don't do not that. Right. Okay. Mm. It's just a little replay, of a little uh, outline of where you were when you died three times on this level so far. Okay. Uh, it's got to be something like that, hasn't it? Surely. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's not a good ending for him. <laughs> right, we know what we've got to do, it's just quite how we do it. This is the question. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Hmm. So can I get onto can I get onto that one above me? Wow, bit of a brain teaser this one. Um what could I drop down there? Okay. But I'm not gonna be able to spin the world quick enough, I might have stop myself from hitting the ball. No. Okay. Blimey. Back up onto the previous to the shelf before. It's gonna be that, isn't it? Tell you what, let's go right, right back to the beginning. Try and rewind time. Gonna get a rewind. Right, there we are. I want to try maybe just to go this way to start with. Maybe the opposite way so the ball doesn't move for the first. So I can get up onto that ledge without the ball having gone anywhere. Now that might be the way of thinking. The ball's then gonna drop. I can then drop safely. Now if I go down here, can we make the ball drop over our heads and into that little gap where we began? Yes we can. Awesome, okay. We need to keep doing that. Hopefully we can just slide straight off. Correct us to the level of the world and bingo. Hey, chapter one completed. Achievement unlocked. Thinker. Right, well, we're that's me. That's my little, uh, my little man. Let's have a look at what this says. I finally found someone who shares my passion for esoteric mathematics. Ah, well, that's me. I'm an esoteric mathematician, if ever you've seen one. <laughs> Not. We've agreed to begin work on some of my ideas. With this help, my dreams could be realised. Okay. My home. Right, we're back at the house. Ah, we've got another couple of doors opened. Brilliant. My world is a much larger place when every wall is a floor. Indeed, so we've got a rotator drop up there. 
and I think we'll leave that for the next part. So I hope you've enjoyed this first little glimpse into the bridge. Please let me know in the comments if you uh, want to see more of it. And um, yeah, if you do, we'll be back for the next part soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.